Today I wanted to talk about some of the drivers behind the growth in the alternative investment market. And I'm going to cover three areas, the push factors, the pull factors and some synergy between the alternative investment market and the wider economy. So what are the push factors that are pushing investors towards alternative investments? Well, there are a couple of key ones, I think. The first one is the stock market and people's feelings after the 2008 crash. Even though the stock market has done well since then, and the, the FTSE All Share, for example, has had a total return of just over 30% in the last three years, people still feel um, very raw after the losses they made in 2008. Um, there's been a lot of press about bad bankers, high fund charges and people um, they really don't feel that they have confidence in the stock market anymore and that's one factor that has been pushing people towards alternative investments. Another factor has been high inflation and low interest rates. Inflation has been as high as 5% and at the moment RPI is 3.3%. It's still uh, outstripping people's wage rises so people are feeling poorer. And of course, interest rates, the, the base rate has been held at half a percent for about 50 months now. And if you put your money in the bank, you can only really earn two or three percent at the most. So um, we can no longer say that cash is king and that by keeping money in cash, you can ride out a crisis and wait for things to get better. If you have significant amounts of money in cash, your wealth is being eroded over time by the impact of inflation. Another push factor has been the UK property market. Um, previously, many people felt that property would secure their financial future and property would be their pension, but we've, um, we haven't seen any change in the property market this year. Um, we haven't seen any change from where we were in 2012. And um, Halifax, for example, reported a 0.9% drop in property values um, in the year to the 31st of March. So people can no longer rely on property um, to secure their financial future, and that's another factor that's pushing them towards alternative investments. Finally, um, we're not going to see um, a pickup in the UK economy anytime soon. We've um, just had a double dip recession. We've narrowly avoided a triple dip recession. Um, we recorded growth in the first quarter of this year, but it was only 0.3% growth. So we only narrowly avoided a triple dip recession. So we're not going to see any pickup in the economy. We're not going to see um, lots of new jobs. Um, we're not going to see people feeling more confident anytime soon. So that is another reason that is pushing people away from traditional investments and they're looking for alternative investments. There are also a couple of pull factors. Um, these are factors that are pulling people towards alternative investments. Um, there are three key ones really. One is yield. Alternatives do offer the prospects of um, significant returns. Um, so obviously that's very attractive to investors. A second pull factor is diversification. Many alternatives um, are not correlated to the stock market or other major asset classes. So they do have an appeal as a diversifier, as uh, something that's going to help you reduce um, overall portfolio volatility. And the third reason um, that people are pulled towards alternative investments is they do find them engaging and interesting. Um, rather than being invested in a, a sort of very dry fund that talks about um, stock market returns, they can invest in something that they feel much more engaged with, like renewable energy or farmland. Uh, they can invest in small localised projects that they feel keen to support and they feel much more interested and engaged with. So there are three pull factors that are really pulling people towards alternative investments. I also said that I wanted to talk about the synergy between the alternative investment market and the wider economy. 
As we all know, banks are currently very reluctant to lend um, to small businesses, um, to startups and to new enterprises. Um, so what we've seen is that a lot of these small businesses and new enterprises have, instead of going to the banks, they've gone direct to the retail investment market by creating an alternative investment products for people to invest in. So we have this, um, this kind of synergy between investors who are looking for new types of investments, alternative investments, and startup companies and small companies that are also looking for new sources of capital. And these were some of the drivers behind the growth in the alternative investment market. We have a, a much more in-depth presentation on the alternative investment market that we delivered at the AMPS conference in 2013. Um, AMPS is the Association of Member Pension Schemes. So if you wanted to um, uh, get a copy of that presentation um, or learn about any of this in more detail, um, please do get in touch with us via our website.